So welcome back to Harry Makes Up. I'm here today with my beautiful model Ellie and we're just going to do a bit of like a rock and roll kind of red hot lip look, um, giving more of a kind of velvet finish. So I've already prepped Ellie's skin with a little bit of Dior Nude foundation and a little bit of NARS concealer and an eye base. So I'm just going to start with Ellie's brows, just kind of give them a bit more fullness and just give them a bit of shape together. I'm just going to turn your head that way a little bit. So just using a spoolie, just brush those up. And I'm going to start on Ellie's eyebrows with this um, eyebrow palette by Clarins. I'm just going to take a bit of the medium shade and I'm just going to use that just to kind of give a little bit more bold shape to the brows as well. I just want to make them really bold, bold and strong because this look is more about the brows and the lip. And just pulling it down to elongate a little bit at the ends, just feathering it outwards with the powder. And just taking your angle brush. I just want it quite thick and bold. The next thing I'm going to do on Ellie's eyes is take a little bit of Vaseline um, and I'm just going to use this to make a kind of like greasy kind of lived in eye. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my ring finger. So just close me Ellie and I'm just going to glaze the eye with this. So you just rub it from the middle of your lid and just blending outwards. And this gives quite a cool kind of rock and roll lived in eyes. So next I'm going to take a eye pencil by Wild About Beauty. Um, this is Louise Redknapp's new range which is... Um, a natural based product range and I actually really really love this duo eye pencil which is in number one and you get one end that's quite thick and really really intensely pigmented I mean you could make a whole smoky eye from that side or you've got a slightly less intense pigmented but still very strong true black pencil and I'm going to line Ellie's lower ri uh, lash rim so just look up for me Ellie so I'm just going to put this all the way along the lower lash line and a few dots over as well, just ever so slightly with the smaller end. And turn that way for me, Ellie, look up. Same on the other side. And then a few dots over as well. So just kind of do a few little extra black dots just over the lower waterline. Quite messy, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then we're going to smudge those out. I'm just going to take a small little brush now just for the fluffy end just to smudge that out a little bit. So look up for me, Ellie. And we want this quite prominent, this black. Oh, in the shire. And we're just smudging that out a little bit. And just extend it a little bit. And then just run it over the eyeshadow, over the pencil just make it quite smudgy all the way into the inner of the eye and then close for me and again just do the same along the top lid as well so just a couple of dots into the roots of the lashes and then you're just going to blend that as well with the same small brush just nice and messy and you don't want to flick it out too much so if it starts to kind of flick just blend it just taper it off with the edge of your finger with the Vaseline. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Origins Mascara. This is in their Ginseng Brightening Mascara, which has a really nice thick, bold brush. And we're going to apply lots of lashes and get the lashes quite clumpy looking. So just look up for me, Ellie. So turn the brush on its side. And you just want to start tracing along the lash line. Just backwards and forwards. The more cloggy they look, the cooler this look will look. And then we're just going to give the lashes a little bit of a curl. So I'm just taking a pair of MAC eyelash curlers and just look down for me. Ellie. And I'm just going to place the lashes into the eyelash curler. So just keep looking down. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. And then just give them a really good curl. Okay. Back in with the Origins Ginseng Mascara and do the same on the top lashes. So look down for me. Ellie. There they go, nice and cloggy. and then just go over anywhere that you need to make more cloggy still. So now I'm going to come on to the main part of the tutorial, which is this product, which is Velvet Lips by Topshop. And this creates a really nice kind of velvet effect on the lips, like a stain, but it goes really dry and powdery that gives the effect of a velvet finish. So what I would do is just start, if you've got lip balm on before you start, just kind of re-smudge that into your lips, just so they're nice and buffed. And then just close me down. And you want to start in the middle with one layer first. And turn this way a bit to me. 
just with the actually straight from the applicator and you'll get such an intensity of colour straight away and then we're going to kind of neaten up with a lip brush in a second. Get the most of the product into the centre of the mouth. So using a lip brush I'm just going to take it off the applicator now and just start kind of giving the mouth some shape. So I'm just going to, if you close your lips merely, I'm just going to take this round from the corners and we're just going to keep layering this coat after coat till it literally has like a velvet finish. So that's Ellie's lip after a couple of coats. I'm just gonna let that coat dry now and then add another one, one final layer in a second. But check you're happy with your shape in between. So next I'm gonna take a bit of NARS Translucent Crystal just to buff the skin in so we get a nice matte finish. And I'm just taking this on a Bobbi Brown Face Blender brush and I'm just gonna kind of buff that through the skin a little bit. So it gets quite a kind of matte powdered finish. And then we're just going to add a little bit of bronzer contour to Ellie's skin and that will be the finished look. So I'm just going to take a Japanese artist brush and I'm going to take a bit of the Guerlain All Seasons, uh, the Four Seasons bronzer in medium 05, which is really great because it has kind of different shades. So depending on how warm you are throughout the year, you can mix it up and take it darker if you need to. So there we have it guys, a little bit of a kind of grungy inspired rock and roll look, more with a take on the lip this time. Big brows, a little bit of the kind of greasy eyelid, anything that prints onto the eyelid will look better and cooler because it will look more lived in anyway. So keep with that and the trick with the lip is if you let it dry after each layer, then reapply you'll get this really lovely kind of velvet finish. Um, so I hope you like guys, follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on Twitter for updates of my newest videos. Subscribe to the channel, it's free to subscribe and I hope to see you for my next video. Thanks guys, bye!